Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this truss structure and we have to find out the support reactions at point A and at point B. So here, here is the truss structure where we have two supports. One is at point A here provided the hinge support and here is point B where it is provided with the rotor support and there is a pointed or concentrated load of 5 kN. 5 kN is a pointed load here acting at the mid of the truss structure which is 3 meter from the left end and 3 meter from the right end. So the total span or the length of the truss is here is 6 meter. So we are interested to find out the support reaction. I mean the vertical reaction here at point A which is represented by RA in the vertical direction at point B represented by RB. Hence it is a hinge support so it can also take the horizontal reaction for example RAX here but in this case it is equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this structure on this truss structure. So it is only the vertical load that is acting on this truss structure. So therefore we are interested only in the vertical component here of the hinge support and also here the rotor support can only take the vertical load so that's why it is only represented with a vertical line RB. So to find out the RA and RB these are unknown to us in order to find out the support reactions now we can use the equilibrium equations uh, the summation of moment at any point equal to zero and let's suppose that in this case we are taking the summation of moment at point A equal to zero we are taking the moment summation at this point equal to zero so it means we have to find out all the moments created by different forces for example rb reaction force will create some moment about point a and also this load will create some moment about point a so we have to calculate the moments about point a now how to do this first we have to consider the sign assumption for example the clockwise moment should be taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment should be taken as negative this is the first step to find out the support reaction we must have to determine our sign assumption for each case so for this case i assume that the clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative so now starting from this rb so this is the load acting in upward direction and it will create the moment here in the anti-clockwise direct in the anti-clockwise direction about point a so in the anti-clockwise direction means then it will be taken as negative so it will be minus rb multiplying it with the distance this is means the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from this point b point up to the a because we want to find out the moment at point a so moment arm is always the distance the perpendicular distance from the load where it acts and to the point where you want to find the moment so I can describe here is the moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So this is the formula for the determining the moment. So force here is RB and moment arm R is here is the distance from this point up to this point which is 3 meter plus 3 meter 6 meter. Now the other load that creates a moment about point A is this load 5 kN which is acting in the downward direction. So it will create the moment about point A in the clockwise direction. If I draw the moment diagram. So it will be in clockwise direction is always positive. So it will be plus 5 kN is the load. 5 kN is the load in the moment arm is the perpendicular distance from this point up to the A point here. And this distance is known to us which is 3 meter. Summation of all the moments about point A is equal to 0. Now we can shift this value to the right side so it will be positive. So 6RB comes out to be 15. Or we can say rb is equal to the 15 divided by 6 so if we divide this we got here 2.5 kilonewton so 2.5 kilonewton is the support reaction here at b point now to find out support reaction ra we can either use two equation either using summation of moment at point b equal to zero we have this option or we can use summation of vertical forces equal to use equal to zero since so there are two equilibrium equation to be used here in order to find out the support reaction at point b so we can use this equation the first equation i 
I showed you the way how to use this equation but now but now let's suppose we are using this equation summation of vertical force equal to zero so in this case let's suppose the upward forces is again positive and downward forces are negative this is again our sign exemption so in this case the R A is acting in upward direction R B is acting in upward direction while this force is acting in downward direction so accordingly R A and R B are acting in upward direction that's why they are taken as positive while 5 kN is acting is in downward direction that's why it is taken as negative so summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero so we have this equation now R B is known to us which is 5 kN so we will shift this value into the right side so it will be 5 minus R B so now this equation is simplified we just put the values of R B which was 2.5 kN so our A comes out to be 2.5 kN. 5 minus 2.5 is 2.5 kN. So it means the support reaction at this point is also 2.5 kN. So this is the general principle of how to find out the support reaction for such type of structure. But you can use also this type of principle uh, equation, this equilibrium equation to find out the support reaction for any kind of truss structure if you follow the same principles by using this equation of for determining the moment and using this equation for determining the vertical forces accurately. So hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.